hey guys cc back with another video thank you guys so much for watching and if it's your first time watching make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more videos so today is a video that i have been getting a lot of questions on just within the past couple of weeks about how my breastfeeding routine and breastfeeding journey is going so i decided to give you guys 24 hours in the life of me breastfeeding my baby now i don't the baby doesn't feed off of me i exclusively pump which when I did this with my girls five and six years ago it wasn't a thing but it's definitely a thing now so I exclusively pump my milk and I, my milk supply is actually really good this day that I pumped I actually ended up getting 43.5 ounces of milk or 1285 milliliters so that is quite a lot of milk in a day especially for me because I was only two weeks into breastfeeding at this point so um or into pumping i should say so a lot happened over these two weeks my milk came in full force and i'm just super happy and super grateful so i hope you guys enjoy these tips and tricks that i have for you and i hope you enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this just let me know I know I look like crap um, it's 8 50 in the morning so I'm getting ready to do my second pump of the day the first one I did around 4 a.m. and this one I'm gonna do around 9 a.m. Um, this is the longest stretch that I would go without pumping but I mean I was tired and actually you know what I finished pumping about 5 a.m. so it's really only been about four hours but that's the longest stretch that I ever go is in the middle of the night um because i don't want my milk supply to get low so um i just fed the baby and he's down right below me on his boppy pillow and i am about to start pumping my boobs get like look at like they just get so big and hard and they hurt and so it's time to pump i am so tired by the way um i've gotten about four hours of broken sleep and so it is what it is hashtag new mom life right well not really new mom but new mom again life um so yeah i'm gonna pump i'm gonna use my spectra pump again and um that's this one right here i'll show you guys um the pump a little bit later but i'm gonna use my spectra again and then i think i'm gonna switch to my lv for the rest of the day because i have some work to do so Let's go ahead and get this pump in. All right, you guys, so I just finished pumping for the second time today. Um, it is 9.37. I finished about 30 minutes ago, but I had to put the baby back to sleep. So I just wanna show you guys how much milk I ended up getting. Um, I got about four and a half ounces, well, a little over four and a half ounces, so 140 millimeters, milliliters, and then I ended up getting um, a little over three ounces in this bottle, so about 100 milliliters. I always get the most milk in my left boob, I don't know why, and my right um, always has slightly less. Again, I have no idea why, but um, I, I get a good amount of milk each time I pump. I get between six and eight ounces which is actually quite a lot of milk in a second i'm gonna go to the garage in our deep freezer and i'm gonna show you guys how much frozen milk i have in just a week so um little mj is only two weeks old he turned two weeks old yesterday and i didn't start freezing milk until he was seven days old so that's eight days well seven days because i haven't put any in there today seven days worth of milk i have in the garage and i have to start a new bin because i have so many bags of milk i think there's 23 bags in there right now so crazy amount and it's only been seven days and I just wanted to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to maybe increase your milk supply or get more milk milk 
So one of the things that I find super helpful is to make sure I stay hydrated. I feel like, like I drink water all day and I feel like the water kind of manifests itself into milk, if that makes any sense. Like the more water I drink, the more milk I seem to get. And um, it's just really, obviously um, you wanna stay hydrated anyway, but when you're pumping, that is super important. So I keep water by my bedside because most of the time that's where I'm pumping. But if I have something to do, I'm moving around the house with my portable pump. So yeah, always keep water and I always keep a snack. My snack of choice has been multi-grain Cheerios lately. I love the multi-grain Cheerios and that's what I've been eating lately. You guys, I feel like I look a mess and I'm so sorry, but you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, the multi-grain Cheerios have been like my jam. So um, always keep a snack near while you're pumping and I feel like that also helps. And then just to keep your calories up as well, you should be eating, um, the recommended is that you eat an extra, I think it's two to 500 calories per day and that kind of helps keep your your energy up and your milk supply up because you're feeding another person like it's not just you um almost like when you're pregnant you're literally feeding another person they are taking nutrients they're taking calories they're taking something out of you that you need to replenish in order for it to continue and keep going so those are three tips that I have. Oh, and one more. Make sure you are pumping regularly. So I try to pump six to eight times a day um, if I'm particularly tired or just have a lot to do and kind of got off schedule. It turns into six times, but on my really, really good days, it could be eight times a day. So right now we're already at two and I'm gonna try to hit at least seven today. So the next time that I pump, I finish, oh, you know what? I finished pumping at 9.15. I, I remember saying that. So the next time I pump will be around 12.15, 12.30. And then I'll try to go every three hours from there because that's what works for me. Um, and that's what helps just keep my milk supply up. So let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to label this bag. I use the Lansino um, breast milk storage bag. So these are the ones that I like. These are the ones that I use and um, I use these in order to put milk into the freezer. So um, they have a space for the date, the name, I guess if you have more than one kid, I don't know what name would be, or maybe your name, I don't know, volume and time. And the only thing that I fill out is the date. I don't fill out all the rest of the information. I just don't feel like I need it. Milk lasts in the freezer from six to 12 months. Ideally, you'll use it within six months, but um, it can last up to 12 months if it's properly frozen. All right, so I'm only gonna fill it up to here. You're not supposed to go past the six ounce mark and I'm already at like the four ounce mark. So what I'm gonna do is close this bag up and I am going to put the rest of the milk in a bottle in the refrigerator. So this four and a half ounces, almost five ounces, I'm gonna put this in a bottle in the refrigerator so he can drink that later. And the reason I'm not keeping it in this bottle is because I need this bottle cleaned out so I can pump again later, so. And this is where I keep all his refrigerated milk, so I have it in order as far as what I pumped first. So these two need to be used first, and then I have the two in the back which need to be used. So the rest of the milk, probably for the rest of the day, are going to go in the freezer because I have four um, bottles of milk here and then I have three upstairs in our little mini fridge in our bedroom. So that's all the milk he's gonna need for now and so I'm gonna put the rest in the freezer. And 
this is all of my frozen milk. Like I said, I had 23 bags, so now I have 25 bags of frozen milk. Just sitting in this little blue bin, there is a lot of milk in here. So I'm gonna start another bin today, and yeah, I have a lot of milk going on. So when I do stop pumping, he will have a good supply and a good amount of milk to keep us going for probably a few weeks after. So that is it for now. I'm about to make some breakfast and I'll catch you guys on the next feeding, which will be about a little bit after noon. Okay, you guys, so it is 1.06 p.m. I just got finished changing MJ's diaper and I'm a little late on pumping right now, but I am wearing my LV pump. I'm actually about to get dressed, but I figured I would pump first. So this is my LV pump and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like. I'll show you outside of my bra as soon as I'm finished, but they are wireless pumps and you just recharge them with their USB charger that they come with and you just stick them in your bra and they're pretty much, they're like super quiet. Can you guys hear it? You can probably hear it a little bit just because it's super quiet but that's the only sound it makes. So if you're out and about shopping or doing whatever you need to do, you can still like do dishes or take care of your kids or do whatever you need to do and pump. Like you don't have to be sitting in one spot to pump, which is what I love about this LV. I have so much to do today and so this pump is like a lifesaver. It was pretty expensive, so I think some insurances cover some of the costs. So my insurance covered like $125, but the pump itself cost, I think, $4.99. So it's very expensive, but you are able to use, if you have a health savings account through your job, you are able to use that. So I used um, my health savings account monies for it. Hey, MJ. And so I was able to get it, but this thing has been a lifesaver and I don't regret it at all. So um, I'll show you guys what I get out of this pump. As soon as I'm done, I'm about seven minutes in. So I still have about, I don't know. It depends, because with this pump, it fills up pretty fast. It has about four and a half ounces of space in the cups. So um, I can fill that up in about 15 minutes. So sometimes I'll be done pumping with this pump in about 15 minutes. So I'll just see um, how long I need to go and I'll let you guys know how many ounces I get. All right, you guys, so I just finished pumping and I just wanna show you the freezer bag that I have. So it is just a little under the six ounce the six, six ounce mark so that's about 170 milliliters and it goes up to 180 milliliters so I pumped for about 17 minutes on my LV pump and I'll come back later and talk to you guys a little more about that pump because um, I love that freaking pump okay so I'll come back a little later and talk to you a little more about that pump plus also the spectra pump that I use as well but um, yeah, I just have some errands to run, so I'm gonna get dressed, and I shall be back. It's 1.30, so I should be back around 3.30 to do my fourth pump of the day. What's up, y'all? So I'm back. This is, it's about five o'clock, so I'm about 30 minutes late on pumping, but I was drying off my pump parts. I had to wash them real quick and dry them. The one thing, so I'm wearing the LV again. The one thing about the LV is that you have to make sure it is completely dry or else it will not work, it will not suck, none of that, it just won't happen. So every part has to be like completely dry in order for it to work, at least that's been my experience, but um, that's like the only problem, and I guess that's not a problem, obviously, you can't use it wet, but, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We are pumping again. I've been pumping for about five minutes now, so I'm going to pump for 15 to 20 minutes, like I said, just depending on, um, how full the, the cups get. I'm gonna pump for 15 to 20 minutes, and that'll be that so we've gotten a good amount of milk today like a really good amount of milk today so i'm really happy about that and um 
yeah i've been making sure again to stay hydrated to make sure i'm keeping my calories up and i've been doing a lot of working today so i actually ate a little bit more just to to make sure that i'm keeping up with the calories that i'm burning because i've been doing a lot of stuff today we're actually in the midst of moving well not moving but putting our house on the market so I have to pretty much pack up this house so we can stage it so it can be sold and so that's what I've been doing all day like moving boxes and stuff like that so I know I've been burning calories and I need to replenish those calories so let me give you guys a good view this is how the LV looks this is how it looks from the side so it kind of looks I mean, depending on how big your boobs already are, nobody might be able to tell, but I don't have that big of boobs, so I feel like you can tell. You can also see this light right here, but if you have like a bra that covers it, or maybe you're wearing like a thick sweater or a scarf, no one will ever know that you have this on. So this is how it looks from the side. I feel like they look big on me because my boobs aren't that big, but if, like I said, if you have bigger boobs, then you might not even be able to tell. But this pump is like, it's just everything because I can get stuff done. You also don't want to like bend too far forward though. So if you are doing stuff, you don't want to lean too much forward because the milk will spill out. I've experienced that also. Um, but yeah. That's it for right now. So I will come back when I'm done with this pump and show you guys how much milk I got once again. So here we are just about 16 minutes later. And the reason I know that is because um, LV actually has an app for the pump. And so you can go on the app and it'll tell you how long you've been pumping and also how many ounces are in the pump cups, which is really nice because you don't have to like every five minutes go like this and look in your bra if you're in public, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pull them out right now and I'm gonna show you, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna show you how much milk I got from it's been 15 minutes and 35 seconds. So sorry guys, my kids are in there yelling, but this is how much milk I got from my right side. So it's almost filled up. So this is probably very, very close to four ounces. This was a cup that I actually bought separately from um, a website. So it's not, it's, a, it's an official LV cup, but it doesn't have the actual, um, the actual ounces on here like the ones that come with the pump so here's my left boob and like i said i do get more milk out of this one this one is actually over four ounces this pump actually has the ounces on it and it's probably it is a little over the four ounce line so it's completely full and that's why i stopped at 15 minutes so this is about eight ounces of milk that i actually got for from 15 minutes so i'm going to pour one of these in a bottle and i'm going to freeze the other all right you guys so i just finished pumping uh my next pump it is what time is it right now it's nine o'clock on the dot and i just finished pumping again so i have one more pump for the day which would be around 12 and midnight and that'll be that so i just pumped with my spectra s1 and i pumped about about seven ounces so this one was my right boob and that gave me three and then my left boob gave me a little over four ounces so just over seven ounces and um my milk supply has just been doing really good this time i used my wired spectra s1 pump and this pump is actually really good it's hospital grade it comes highly recommended and so i really really love this pump another great thing about this pump is that you can also use it um while it's not plugged in so it is it's not wireless because you still have to like hold the phalanges on your boobs however 
you don't have to keep it plugged into a power source as long as it's charged you can take it with you so I've pumped with this in the car before um, we took a road trip to um, somewhere like two and a half hours away and I did pump with this pump in the car it worked just fine and the charge actually lasts for quite a while so I use mine on cycle 54 and I fluctuate between level 5 and level 8 so I start off on level 5 and then I I will gradually increase to level eight and with this pump I always seem to pump 20 minutes um, I'll do like 20 to 22 minutes and that seems to get all the milk out so yeah I think that's all I have to tell you for now and I will see you guys at my last pump of the day what's up guys I am back with my final update um, I just finished pumping my last my last pump for the night it is 1.07 in the morning, so I finished about 30 minutes ago. So now I'm about to put the milk in the freezer. Y'all, <laughs> it has been the longest day of life. Like, oh, I've been doing stuff all day. But I did want to come and update you guys on how many ounces I ended up getting. So I got exactly three ounces here from my right boob. And then from the left boob, I ended up getting a, just a tad bit under four ounces. So, um, I mean, I've been getting about seven to eight ounces all day, which I think is really good. So I gave you guys all of my tips and tricks for how I pump so much milk in a day. Everybody always asks me that question, how is your milk supply so good? How do you pump um, so many ounces in a day? And those are all the tips and tricks I have. I guess the last one that I will leave you with is just to start pumping as soon as possible or start to feed as soon as possible. So um, I started to feed as soon as I got basically um, out of labor I started to feed my baby and then right after that I started to pump like right after that that's that's just what I did and I felt like the milk came in maybe within like four days so just start feeding as soon as possible and that also helps but that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was helpful for you and if you try any of these tips and tricks make sure you let me know and I think that's it. Love you guys and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.